Hello YouTube, I'm back again with a full review of the Moto X on Verizon Wireless. And one of my um, favorite features of this phone is this is the first smartphone, if you can see it right there, designed and assembled in the USA. If I can just get it to focus just right on there. And there it is. And some reason it's not quite focusing, but it's there. It says designer assembled in the USA. So that's one of the biggest features of this device. It you know, first smartphone first yeah, first smartphone made in the USA. There were firms made in the USA before, but they weren't smartphones. This is the first one made in the USA. So um for the review um it's going to be a very positive review because i have very highly positive uh, thoughts on this phone just everything about this phone is positive there's not one negative except for you know the small camera issue but other than that it's all positive so let's get started and here we go Okay, here is the Moto X on Verizon Wireless. This is, um, the, I did not get a custom Moto Maker version because I kind of was in a rush and needed, you know, the device quickly since I was sending my HTC one out for repair that same day. So I couldn't wait the, you know, three to four days or whatever f to get a Moto Maker version shipped. But that's fine. I'm perfectly happy with this version. This I got the, the black um, what they call the black weave or you know it's a rubberized back with the weave texture in it as you can see there with um, silver accents that's just the default you know version they sell in the stores you know at the carriers or things like that but I'm perfectly happy with you know this version so I mean it's very grippy I like how it's you know easy to hold in hand you know, I'm not afraid of it falling out of my hand because of how, you know, grippy the, it feels almost like, you know, rubber where it just grips your hand like really good where you can just like, you know, do this and it's not going to fall out. Like over the HTC One, it's a completely different story. It's aluminum body is so slippery. It's like, I'm almost always afraid it's going to slip out of my hand. So that's one advantage of having, you know, this rubber back on the Moto X. Very good design overall, you know, like I um, have been saying in my previous videos, uh, like in my comparison videos and things like that. Just overall genius design, I, th I would say. It is a perfect fit in the hand. Um, I haven't had any phone in my lifetime that has fit in the hand as perfectly as this one. Even smaller phones like the Jordan Incredible or like the Resound things like that, the like 3.7, 4 inch screen, even the Palm Pre with a 3.2 inch screen. It, none of those fit in my hand as well and perfectly as this phone here. It's just, they knew what they were doing when they made this phone. Whoever designed this phone, they knew what they were doing. So, huge advantage for, you know, the design and the design team really gave this they really did their homework, I would say. They said that they, they um, you know, they reviewed like 450 different hands or something to get the perfect fit. So, they really did their homework, literally. <laughs> but yeah, let's go over the hardware real quick. Um, power button, volume rocker on the side. I like the, I like the side placement actually better than, you know, top placement of power buttons. It's easier to get to. Although on this phone, I'll explain in a bit, you actually never really have to use that power button. Actually, I, well, personally, I never really do. Um, I'll explain why in a minute. It's one of the features of the phone. Uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, uh, noise canceling microphone. On the back, 10 megapixel camera, LED flash, Motor roller, that's an indentation, which is a perfect place to put your finger when you're on phone calls. It's very comfortable that way. 
Um, you know, this is on Verizon, so there's a Verizon logo. There's the uh, another noise canceling microphone. And if you look very closely, I'm not sure if it'll show up on camera, but right on the bottom of it, if I get just right, one of my favorite parts of this phone. Up, oh, it's coming into focus right there. Designed and assembled in the USA. First smartphone ever designed and assembled in the USA. Props to Motorola for that. And Google, which is now, you know, owns Motorola, so. Uh, 4.7 inch, 720p display. 2 megapixel front camera. There's your, you know, speakerphone. There's the microphone for, you know, calls. There's the speakerphone on the back. Micro USB charging port on the bottom. And um, now about that feature that I was talking about, about never having to use the power button. Just one of my favorite features of this phone, it's called Active Display. As you can see, as you've been probably been seeing as I've been shooting this video, is this screen, you know, it, it'll, it it's called a breathing display. It like breathes the time and the lock um, symbol every so often. And if you're sitting down, if you pick it up, it automatically turns on. You can go right to unlock the screen right there. No need to hit the power button. The only time you got to hit the power button is to turn the screen off, not to turn it on. Um, also, if you have notifications. Um, let me go ahead and send myself a... Uh, let me call myself right here. Um, think of my phone number. <laughs> I don't call myself too much, so I gotta remember my phone number here. Okay, I'm gonna cover it up so you can't see my actual phone number. My phone's a long distance number. <laughs> Apparently, from my home phone, my cell phone number is a long distance. Go figure. Okay, you see it is calling because you can see the symbol right there. Go go ahead and hang it up. Make sure it goes away. And now, if I turn the display off. Right there, it shows you got a missed call. Right there on the screen. That's a missed call symbol. And when you have an actual notification, see, if you don't have a notification, it'll just stay off. But if you have a notification, it'll actually, you know, flash or breathe like that right there every few seconds. Every five or ten seconds or so. I don't know the exact, you know, interval in time. I'd say about every five seconds, it'll breathe and pop up on the display hey you got a notification do you want to check it or not and then let me check here real quick okay it doesn't show okay and to check your notifications all you gotta do as soon as it comes back on tap the notification and then you can slide up to get to it slide down to unlock or swipe across to you know dismiss the notification altogether so that's one of the um, cool features about this device, this phone. Um, actually, um, all Motorola's current devices have this feature. The Moto X, the Droid Ultra, the Droid Mini, and the Droid Max. They all have this, you know, this same feature. You see right there, there's a missed call. You can clear it out. Great feature. Um, so um, that's active display. That's what that is called. And you can configure it. Um, you know, more in the settings here, active display, you can, you know, choose different settings for it. If you want it to sleep at night, if you want it to be on or off, manage what's notified. I think I pretty much have just about everything selected, almost. There's a couple of things that are not that, you know, aren't relevant, but let's move on to the next big feature of this phone which is touchless control. Another one of my favorite features. You can have this phone completely off. Well, not completely off because it won't work anyway. But 
what I mean is you can have this phone off, like the screen off, just sitting on the table. You can have it across the room or wherever. And all you got to do is say three simple words. It comes to life. And you can, um, you know, you can search the weather. You can search the... Let me go ahead and uh, turn my sound up here since it is on sleep mode right now with the... And that's another thing. There's Motorola Assist. I have it, um, you know, set to sleep at night time. Um, you can, it has a driving mode, um, where's the drive, so all activities, there we go, driving mode, sleeping mode, and meeting mode. I use the driving mode all the time, and it's sleeping mode all the time. They're very great features to have. But let's get to this feature, touchless control. Since the sound is up, all I have to do is do this. Let's wait till the display to go, that stumbling over my words a little bit there. <laughs> let's wait for the display to go off. Here we go, now. Okay, Google now. What is the weather like today? And then we'll go ahead and go online and... Today's forecast for Johnstown is 30 degrees with a chance of snow showers. There you go. There's the weather. You can ask it anything, anytime, just by saying, okay, Google now. How old is Barack Obama? Barack Obama is 52 years old. Okay, Google now. Who is his wife? His spouse is Michelle Obama since 1992. And as you notice, my hands were never near the device. They were always, didn't even touch the phone at all. Okay, Google now. Call home. And then there you go. Calling you can... home. Mobile. Yep. I might want to cancel. <laughs> okay. And you can call your home phone or anything like that. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much, um, you know, touchless control. That's a very good feature. And when you're driving or things like that, it will um, actually, the driver mode actually integrates touchless. Touch <laughs> Tongue twister there. Driver mode integrates the touchless controls where if you're driving, you get a text message or a phone call. You can actually um, talk to the phone to, if you get a phone call, you can say answer the call and it'll answer it for you and put it all back on speakerphone. If you get a text message, it, it will, you can tell it to read you the text message. It'll read, read it to you and then they'll ask if you want to reply to it. You can reply to it by talking to it and telling it the message and sending the message that way. So when you're driving, it is truly 100% hands-free. You don't have to touch the phone at all driving. Also with, you know, maps, um, if you're navigating. I use GPS a lot while I'm driving. Okay, Google now. Navigate to San Diego, California. Just a random, you know. Navigating to San Diego, California. And then you don't even have to touch it. I, I'm not even going to touch it, and it'll just... Go ahead, open navigation. Give it a few seconds to calculate the route. Head northwest on Singer Street toward Railroad There it is. Then turn left onto Railroad All Street. Microsoft's Street. the navigation, wherever you need to go. Don't it, you, this is truly a hands-free device. First um, hands-free, the truly hands-free device that I've, you know, ever seen personally, so... Uh, excuse me. But those are the two big features of this phone. The active display and then, you know, touchless control. Those are the two biggest, you know, features, selling points um, of this device. Not a big feature or selling point or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, is right here. Look at your battery life. As you can see, eight hours of battery at sixty percent. This battery is truly an all-day battery. This battery will last you all day, hands down. Sometimes it even lasts me about a day and a half or two days. Um, it is right up there with you know the bigger phones devices. You know like the I'm sure, you know, the bigger the battery, of course you're going to get better battery life if the battery's bigger. 
That's just, but with this, a 2200 milliamp hour battery, very decent. It lasts, you know, about a day and a half, I would say, average is what I get out about a day and a half. Um, so, no complaints about battery life on this phone. It's right up there on my HTC One. They both have very good on battery. Um, but I mean, I, I was impressed because of this the small size of the battery. I was impressed at how optimized the system and the processor is to let this battery last all day and give you top of the line performance, which is another feature or I don't know if you call it a feature, but it's another, you know, amazing thing about this device is the performance. It's a dual core processor that keeps up with all the quad core processors that are out there. It is astonishingly, bleh, astonishingly powerful for what it is. It, it's what they call Motorola's X8 computing um, system. It has, you know, dual core Snapdragon S4 at 1.7 gigahertz. Basically the same processor that was in the Galaxy S3. Two gigs of RAM. Uh, and then two low power cores that enabled active notifications and the uh, touch resistance control, a uh, contextual computing core, and um, a natural language processor. Those are two low power cores for those two features. But the main core is a dual core. It's um, the and plus has an Adreno 320 quad core GPU. So in total, this thing is eight cores, which is you know about average. You know a quad core phone like the HTC One has the quad core processor quad core GPU a 320 so it's got eight cores too but the actual processing cores in this is only two cores for the actual processor and as you can tell I'm going to show you here there is absolutely not the slightest bit of lag in this device it opens apps instantly um, you know Facebook um, it's always slow at opening because it's got to load up all the latest stories. But yeah, um, all these apps open very quickly. Um, I haven't had any problems with this device. Um, performance wise, there has been absolutely. This is the first device other than HTC One I've ever owned that has absolutely zero lag at all. Previous devices I've owned have been powerful, have had performance, but they would stutter every now and then. They, this one, this phone, the HTC One that I have that I'm recording on right here, of course, um, both have absolutely zero lag and I mean, I expect that from the HTC One because this is a powerful phone. It's got the Snapdragon 600, which is a very powerful processor. But I did not expect that at all from the Moto X, which has a dual-core processor. Even the Galaxy S3, which has the same processor, has lag. I've seen it on my mom's Galaxy S3. It stutters every now and then. It has drop frames every now and then when you're scrolling through things and... But this Moto X, I haven't seen that at all. In the entire month I've been using it, not the slightest, tidiest bit of lag. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm sure anybody would be too. And uh, I heard that the Moto G, which is the cheaper version of the Moto X, the performance is right on, on par with the Moto X. So, um, At the price point of this, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> I mean, you would think um, a dual core, most people hear dual core and they say, oh, it's not good then. Don't be fooled. Dual core or not, this is a powerful phone. Um, I mean, it, it blows the, it blew my socks off. It'll blow, it'll blow any other dual core phone out of the water. I mean, it just blows any other dual core phone out away. Just, the way they, that Motorola optimized the processor is amazing. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. 
somehow. They optimized this thing so much, it's just, it's amazing. I wish other manufacturers would be able to, you know, switch to dual core to save battery life. Optimize it in this way. It would be perfect, the perfect phone. If you have the Galaxy Note 3, a dual core processor just like a Note X, man, that thing would last like a week on battery. <laughs> if you could optimize it just like the Moto X on a dual core chip. So... I mean, with that monstrous battery in it, it would last, definitely last a week on battery. If this lasts two days of battery, that would last a week. So, Motorola knew what they were doing on this phone all around. That's why it sold out every time it had the, the Cyber Monday sale. And then, it, you know, it had pro issues with that because it was in so high demand. And it had, um, and then the two sales after that. Actually, there were three sales after that. There was a sale the following Monday, the following Wednesday, and then another sale the following week from the Today Show, where they had discounted $150 off, and every time it sold out within minutes. So that's why this phone is such high demand, because, and it was also voted Android Central's phone of the year, or, you know, the best phone you can buy right now. It, it. It didn't get an official award of phone of the year. That went to the HTC One, as we all know. But in my book, it's right up there with the HTC One. It's they're both neck and neck. I would say get both if you can. <laughs> but if you had to pick between one or the other, that's a tough choice. But I'm going to say Moto X because of the optimizations it has in it just all the you know other the extra features it's it's basically stock android which i absolutely love stock android even though i like you know i like sense hcc and sense and you know their optimizations i love stock android i mean and to have a phone like this with stock android this optimized this powerful this Good on battery life, great on battery life, I should say. This is really the perfect phone for me. I mean, other people may disagree. A lot of people apparently agree because of how in demand this phone is. When I went to buy this at Best Buy, this was the last one that had in stock. I got the last one on the shelf there. So I was I consider myself pretty lucky that I got there before somebody else did to get it. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, that is the review. Um, wow, 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> I think I've taken enough time here. Um, but all in all, this is a great device. I mean, I know I said a lot of positive things. I've been, you know, more upbeat in this review than other reviews. But it's because this phone has left a positive impression in me. From Motorola and Google. This is their first phone, you know, since they Google bought Motorola, and I see good things for the company coming out. You know, CES is coming up next week. Mobile World Congress is coming up soon. Um, so I'm gonna, I look for a lot more, you know, impressive devices like this from Motorola and Google in 2014. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, um, in, uh, excuse me, HCC's come out with HCC 2 soon, or whatever we're going to be calling it. But I look for possibly the next motor, well, look out for motor roller. I mean, no HCC's coming out with that, the you know, HCC 2. Um, Samsung's coming out with the Galaxy S5 iPhone's going to be with iPhone 6. But I'd say Motorola is a definitely a contender now. It it wasn't even that long ago. Motorola was not even a factor. And now they are a serious contender in the smartphone market. So I'll look for a lot more good things like this to come with from Motorola. I am truly impressed with the Moto X. I didn't think I would be. When I first got it, I thought, 
as you saw in the unboxing video, I said this is my temporary device until I get my HTC One back, and then I'm going to switch back to my HTC One. As you can see, I never switched back my my HTC One. I kept my Moto X as my primary device, and I think it's going to stay that way for the foreseeable future, at least, because the Moto X is an amazing device, <laughs> hands down. I'm impressed. If you get it, or if you have it, if you if you have it, you're probably impressed as well. If you don't have it and you get it, you will be impressed with it when you do get it. If you're someone looking for your first Android device, your first smartphone, and you um, you're looking for stock Android or something easy to use, easy to get into, you don't really want to go through the hassle of you know, um, you know. Uh, manufacture skins like touchwares or scents or anything like that hands down this is the device to go for if you look for your first android device get this one no doubt about it you'll be happier than ever if um this or a nexus i mean i can't say you know you can get a nexus device too that's stock android but if you're on you know if you're on a carrier where you can't get you know nexus device like the nexus 5 like on Verizon, like I am, or if you're looking for something different, like maybe not exactly a Nexus, but you know, with the added fe with the added features, this blows the Nexus away too. So even up against the Nexus, I'd say go for the Moto X um, because th this has valuable added features that are actually useful. <laughs> Get this: these added features are actually useful. A lot of other manufacturers add features that are not useful. These are actually, I use them on a daily basis. Every day. There's not a day that goes by I don't use every feature on this phone. So, there you go. The, these, that's the first time I've ever said that about a phone too. I've never said about a phone where I've used, been able to use every feature on it every single day. So, that's another reason I'd say go for this phone if you're looking for your first smartphone. The price point, features, everything. Um, since, you know, they recently, you know, lowered the price, the on-contract and off-contract price. Uh, you can find it for free on contract at some places. Um, if you look hard enough, um, Best Buy sometimes has deals. That's how I got this. It was free on contract from Best Buy. Last month, and every periodically they will fluctuate, and sometimes they'll drop to free or forty nine dollars or something like that. Um, off contract, it's you know when it's not on sale, like the Cyber Monday deal for three fifty, it's still only four fifty. Which, if you was to go for HTC One off contract or Galaxy S four, they'd be about seven hundred dollars off contract. So this is about half the price. And it's just a powerful and has features you actually use every day. <laughs> on my HTC One, there are features on it that I, I probably have yet to use, like the Zoe features. Um, I thought, you know, at first when I was trying it out, I thought, well, this is nice, but do I actually really use it every day or every week? No, I've actually never really. I can't remember the last time I did a Zoe on the HTC One. Probably in the video when I was demonstrating it, but that's about it. <laughs> so, um, the only problem I have with this Moto X, or you know, with the V Moto X, not just this one. That's everyone's been saying this. It's the camera quality. It has improved over time, though. I think with more software updates. Since since uh, Motorola has actually uh, has the camera app, if I can find it, in the App Store, and they can update it. It was just updated on December seventeenth, which uh, locked exposure. Okay, yeah, it had some new features added. 
And uh, since it's in the App Store, they can actually update it without having to send out a full, you know, update over the air. Um, so with it has gotten better with updates. Um, you can see the camera right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. It's fairly. Um, let me take a picture of uh, something. Uh, what should I take a picture of? <laughs> picture of the HTC One. Here we go. In my home base tripod. Alright, that's how the flash came on, but that's fine. It's actually gotten better over time with, you know, picture quality, as you can see it there. If my HTC One will focus its camera. But yeah, I mean, it's a 10 megapixel camera. Look at that. You can zoom all the way in, and it's pretty decent clarity with 10 megapixels. Um, yeah, it's very clear, actually. So, it's gotten better over time. It's not perfect, but it's gotten better. Um, and I figure with, um, you know, more software updates to the camera feature, it'll get better even still. So, another, uh, speaking of updates, that's another thing I love about this phone. This thing is already running KitKat. It actually got KitKat before the Nexus 4 got KitKat. 15 days after the Nexus 5 was released with KitKat, this phone got KitKat on Verizon at that. And you know Verizon is notorious for delaying updates. You see on this phone here, the HTC One, they delayed this update for like three months. We just recently got it uh, a couple weeks ago. So, but this phone here, it's already right there running Android 4.4. If I can get my camera to focus here for you guys. And it's slowly focusing. Come on. Focus on my thumb. <laughs> there it is, 4.4. I know you could see it before, but still. There's the XA computing system. But yeah, if you tap on this, or then. Yep, there's the, it, I guess that signifies that they were the first to get KitKat after, you know, the Nexus. And then you go here and there's the Android 4.4 that with the little KitKat style logo. And then if you hold it in again, it's this little, forget what they call this, but it's like shows all the uh, previous versions of Android and stuff. Which is pretty cool. There's um, Jelly Bean, there's um, Honey Bee. Honeycomb, not honeybee. <laughs> uh, cupcake, eclair, donut. I'm not seeing gingerbread in here. Oh, there's gingerbread. No, is it? Yeah. And ice cream sandwich right there. So, yeah. Um, how do I go back? There we go. But, yeah, this uh, got Kit Kat very quickly. I expect it to be updated to possibly... Um, I'm not sure if we're going to see 4.4.2 on here, but never know, it might. And when 4.5 comes out, or 5.0, whatever it is, I'm pretty sure this will get it very quickly as well at that time. So, uh, yeah, um, this has been a pretty long review, but a lot of good things about it. I just can't stop, you know. Um, t talking enough about this device, about the good things about it. That's just how great this device is for me. It, it fits my life, my personal needs, better than any other phone I've ever had, honestly. So, um, yeah. It's the first phone I could say that actually, you know, fits my needs perfectly. Um... I don't need a 1080p screen. I don't need a quad core processor. This is perfect. A lot of people don't really need all that. I mean, a, a 1080p screen on a screen this size, all it's going to do is eat up battery. 
There's no, I can put this phone right next to my um, HTC One, and I see no difference. And um, one's this screen is just as clear as the one on HTC. I mean, so 720p, 1080p on a screen this size, there is no difference. That's only on bigger TVs when you get to larger screens. That's when you can see the difference. Even me myself, if I look at, you know, like a, a 40 inch TV, if I see one of the 720p and one of the 1080p next to each other, I can't really see the difference there. It's only in like the larger, like the 50 inch or 60 inch, that's when you start seeing differences. In smaller screens like this, if you can't see the difference in a 40 inch TV, you're ne definitely not going to see the difference in a four and a half or five inch phone screen. So, <laughs> I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, maybe some people have different eyes than I do, then they can see differences. But personally, I can't. So, I don't need 1080p. I don't need uh, quad-core processing because this thing is right up there with them. So, I know I'm, I'm starting to repeat myself now, which is probably time to end this then. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I got to say, I definitely 100% recommend this device to... Anyone out there looking for the first Android phone, the first smartphone, regardless of whether they're looking for an Android, even if you're not looking for a specifically an Android phone, if you're looking for just your first smartphone, go with the Moto X. If you're looking for your first Android phone, like if you're switching from an iPhone or a Windows phone or something like that, go with the Moto X. You won't be wrong. You won't you won't go wrong with it. You you won't regret it at all. I guarantee that. Um, so, yeah, uh, this has been the review of the Murdo X. Um, so, my next video, I don't know what it's going to be yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to figure that out. But, yeah, um, this has been the review of the Murdo X. Um, I might do an updated review on my computer or something um just to it's been a while since i did that i mean it's been running strong so um yeah i might do that um so i'm saying i'm so much here uh, i'm trying to think of what else to say here yeah uh, my point has been working fine um someone asked me in the comment about the uh paper james on that uh, I haven't seen any paper jams. Um, if uh, whoever, if you, if you, uh, whoever asked me that is watching this um, video, if you have a paper jam problems with it, um, either um, check in, um, check your um, tray to uh, make sure it's properly all the way in the um, device in the printer. It's got to be, all, you got to push it all the way into where it clicks, and. Uh, Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a separate video um, just showing that probably. Just so people will know um, if you have paper jams, that's what you do. Because that's what caused my paper jam my first when I first used it. And then since then, I haven't had any. So, um, yeah, look for that video. I'm going to make a video about that. Um, you know, showing how to re hopefully uh, prevent paper jams on that printer, on that particular model. So, yeah, this, um, like I said, this has been the review of the Moto X on Verizon Wireless. First smartphone made in the USA, and I gotta say, it's, they hit one out of the park with this one. So, hopefully we see many more phones made in the USA. Because, that's where they should be made. See you later, thanks for watching.